Hey, what's up everybody? It's W9 FFF Ham Radio Dude, and today we're going to finish up this series on the Yaesu FT70D as far as manually programming the radio goes. So in prior episodes we talked about how to manually program analog channels, and then in another episode we spoke about how to program or lack of programming hotspots, because there are some issues with hotspots. And today we're going to jump into the Wires X realm of things and learn how to connect to Wires X repeaters, but also how to save those Wire X nodes into the radio so you don't have to remember all those numbers. Let's get started. To get started, we're kind of where we were last week. We have analog and we have digital repeaters programmed into this radio. Specifically, this is my hotspot. But what we want to do is we want to go to VFO mode. And we want to find a frequency of a repeater, for example, that we know is capable of wires X. Just so happens I know that this one's capable of wires X, 147.345 in the Chicagoland area. So I'm going to program it into the radio. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold down the V slash M button. And what's going to happen is we're going to see that the number 7 is flashing. Well, why is the number 7 flashing? It's because 7 is the first available memory channel. And so Yezu says, hey, do you want to put it in the first available memory channel? Today is a little different. I'm going to go ahead and put it in 6. So I'm going to put it in 6 and then I'm going to hit or tap the VM button again. And you'll see here it says, do you want to write the memory, or should be overwrite the memory channel. And yeah, go ahead and overwrite the memory channel, hit VM again. And then all of a sudden, you'll see that flashing underscore again. So I'll use the keypad to type in, oh, for this one, I'm just going to do W, and then I'm going to do a dash. So if you hold down zero or keep tapping zero, you get a bunch of different things. So dash, and then I'm going to call it X. W dash X, and then I'm just going to hold down that V slash M button, and you'll notice that I'm back into VFO mode. But if we pop over to memory mode, here it is, channel 6, wires X. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually connect to wires X. And to do that, we're just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to hit function, and then we're going to hit AMS. And what happens here is you see wires X is flashing, it's trying to connect to a room. And there we go, we got the connect meshes. So we're connected to the wires X, uh, we're connected through wires X through the repeater that I'm on. And you'll see that it's currently connected to the Minnesota Wisconsin Fusion link. And so what I'm gonna do is that's a pretty good link. I'm gonna go ahead and save that in here. So what I'm gonna do, for example, is I'm gonna hold down, because I'm under CN for connect, I'm gonna hold down five. And when I do that, the screen lights up, but not much happens. However, if you scroll over to 5, you'll see it's now inputted into the memory mode. So, if I were to use this knob up top to go over to EN, I could actually enter a node ID. So here we are on Yezu's Fusion website, and it has a list of nodes and repeaters that are capable of wires X. Uh, I was going to use America Link, but it's so busy that every time I try to put it into my radio, I get a busy error. So it's not going to be good for an example. But what you could do is you could scroll through this list until you find something you wish to connect to. Um, let's see if there's an Illinois Link while we're here. Okay, so there is a Chicago Illinois node and a node. I'm trying to find a repeater. Um, and, you know, there's a repeater, so 30453. 30453. Let's go ahead and switch over to there, and we're going to type in 30453. And then once we have 30453 in there, just tap the AMS button. Now it's going to try to connect to that repeater, and it did. So we are now in Illinois W9G so forth. Well, if we wanted to program that channel into our memory, all we have to do is we have to hold down, for example, I'll program it into four, and I'll hold it down. Again, there we go. So n the nice thing about that is I don't have to remember that node number now. If I go to a hundred different wires X repeaters that are actual wires X, it'll save it in memory, those channels that I frequent or that I like and I save, and I don't have to remember a million node numbers because I can't remember all of those. Heck, I could barely remember five digits. But as you'll see now, we're connected to this node. And if we, at this point, wanted to connect back to the Minnesota-Wisconsin link, since that's what it was connected on before, I would just go find, for example, C5, and I would tap AMS. And then it's going to try to connect. 
Very simple, very easy. Especially if you've seen the last videos, you should be pretty familiar with this radio already. And if you haven't seen the last videos, go check them out. Uh, and so here we are, we're connected back into the Minnesota Wisconsin link. And at this point, I want to get out of Wires X. And there's not too much more to show you on this video. So I'm going to go hold, ahead and hold down mode. And as you see, I'm back out of Wires X now, and I'm cap capable of going through all my memory channels. So, as you see, actually, you know what, let me shut this off real quick. But what you're going to see now is if I were to go back into the radio after I shut it off, whereas in the last video when I was doing this with a hotspot, once I went back into Wires X, all those memory channels I tried to save were either not capable of being saved or they actually didn't save. So here we are connected to Wires X again. And if I scroll through, you'll see we're connected to this link here. And if I continue to scroll through here, you'll see C5 saved and C4 saved. So everything's good. And again, to get out of Wires X mode, just hold down that mode button. And we're back into memory mode. So that's pretty much the video for how to program digital or Wires X stuff into the radio. Uh, one thing I did mention or did see in the other episode is I enabled the the very wide mode or VW mode uh, and so now if you ever wanted to change to VY mode you would just have to tap the mode button I forgot to show you that part I showed you how to actually enable VW mode in the settings but didn't show you how to get to it just hit the mode button if you want to go to VW mode and even though that was a quick video I feel like with the past two or three videos that I've made you should be able now to understand pretty much the concept or the theory on how this radio works for programming things. So I didn't have to go a lot of time to show you how to do these things. I just wanted to give you that example that Wires X capable, actual Wires X rooms will save into the radio and you could save those node IDs or those, those node numbers with no problem. So guys, until next time where I'm probably going to start maybe doing some projects on FT8, I think I'm going to call it one. So I hope you have a great weekend. This is W9FFF Ham Radio Dude. I'll see you on the bands. 73.